Welcome to the beautiful Jal Binayak temple here in the quiet and peaceful Katipur. Now I'm very sorry about the sound. Um, I'm actually standing right next to the Bagmasi uh, at the Chobar Gorge. So basically it's it's a succession of rapids and, and small waterfalls. So that's what you hear, it's just a rushing of the water. Now I'm standing here with the Jal Binayak temple. And I think the Jal Binayak temple is one of my favorite temples in Kathmandu Valley because it's so peaceful. Um, so, so if you go in there, you kind of feel as if the gods are present. I don't know how to describe it, but it has something nice. It's, it's something that I sometimes miss with other temples here in Kathmandu, especially the very touristy ones. Um, but yeah, here there's no tourists, it's just people coming to pray um, or people coming to cure their backache as um, you will learn later on in the video. The temple was originally built in the 17th century by King Shiva Singh Mala. And inside the temple you will find a stone that resembles Ganesh because obviously Binayak is Ganesh. Now the stone is quite different from other stones representing Ganesh that we can find here in the valley. Now if you look in other temples at stones that represent Ganesh, they're mostly like, you know, amorphous stones, stones that maybe at some time looked like an elephant, uh, but they're just like stones. Well here, it's a massive boulder and, and it actually looks a bit like a great big elephant head. It's gorgeous. They, they, they put a shroud over it, like a beautiful cloth. They uh, bring puja to the stone. It's beautiful. I can't film it because they, they have a big plate that says no photography, which I am going to respect. But it is a beautiful shrine. And like I said, the stone actually does look a bit like an elephant or like you would Ganesh. Before we go into what the temple is, what you do here, and the history of the temple, I do want to ask you to take just five seconds and to like and to subscribe and to tell me in the comments whether or not you've visited the Jal Binayak temple before. Now, in my video of last week, you learned everything there is to know about Tadahai Lake, right? Well, here in the area of Jal Binayak temple, they actually believe that it was Jal Binayak, so Ganesh, who showed Manjushri where the lake was, where Tadahai Lake was, where the Nagraj, so the king of the Nags, and his wife could live. And Tadaha Lake is actually only just a very short drive, maybe like two kilometers down from here. And it, it follows, you know, the road follows more or less the river Bagmasi. Now, if you haven't seen my video about Tadaha Lake yet, Nagas are like a snake people. They are like half men, half snake, or they're complete snake. And they are very closely connected to rain and rainfall. And in a country like Nepal, where most of the rainfall every year is during monsoon, Nagas are incredibly important because rain here is, you know, the breath of life. It is, it is so important for the crops and for the rice and everything. So obviously Nagas are very important in this culture. So let's say that for the Newari people, Jalabi Nayak, by showing Manjushri where Taraha Lake is, well, he saved the day. He brought rain to the Kathmandu Valley forevermore by making sure that the Nagaraj Karkutak, the king of the Nagas, had a beautiful palace to live in in Tarha Lake. But that's not all. This temple is incredibly popular for people to come and pray to Lord Ganesh, and especially on a Tuesday. Now, why a Tuesday? Well, Tuesday is seen as one of the best days to come and pray to Lord Ganesh, because Lord Ganesh is one of the most important gods and it means that you kind of want to start by praying to Ganesh which is why it's Tuesday at the beginning of the week. The temple is also incredibly popular with people who are celebrating Anaprashan. Anaprashan is a ritual where people feed their daughter or son their very first grain of rice. Now how it's done and when it's done will depend from your culture or the region or even the country you live in. But here in Nepal, it's super cute. So your kid is between five and eight months old and they dress the kids up in beautiful red dresses and little suits and they're all hand embroidered with like gold thread. It's, it's gorgeous. Like if you come to Nepal and you go to the markets, you will see the clothes that they're selling there. So people will often rent massive party palaces, 
have big parties. It's a bit like being baptized, but it's also not. It's kind of just to celebrate that your kid is is able to have like um, actual food instead of milk. Um, so it's literally the first grain of rice that is given to the baby. Anyway, before you do an Prashan with your kid, you come here to pray or people in the area come here to pray because it's quite an important uh, temple for that. Okay, so what if you don't have kids or a husband? Well, <laughs> you also come here because Lord Ganesh is known to be able to find women a very good groom. And it's also a temple you come to pray for kids. So if you want to have kids and you don't have kids, you come here. If you don't have a groom and you want a groom, you come here and pray. So it's basically an all-inclusive package. Inside the temple, there is also a large stone. And it is believed that if you have a backache, like me, that you can actually go and lie on the stone and your backache will be gone. So I might go and try that out in a minute. Anyway, I think that was all there is to say about Jalbi Nayak. I am going to walk around here and have a look at all the gorgeous, oh my god, the strut work. I'm going to show you the strut work. It is so gorgeous. Um, it's still painted as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to walk around here and I'm going to show you why I love this temple so much. And hopefully, I'm going to be cured of my backache. See you next week. I hope you have a great rest of your week. See you next week. Let me know in the comments whether you think my backache will be cured or not. Anyway, I'm going to see you next week, backache or not. Bye.